Hi right, guys, I just wanted to cover some things that are possible on the Road Raid server that I've only just learned very recently. So in this case, it's still very early in the morning. So what I can do is I can go into the F10 map and I'm over here. And what I can now do is I select just both of these. I suppose you don't need both, but uh, I want to click somewhere specifically. And now all I need to do is type in dash illumination, just like that. Don't have to press enter, just hide it like that. And now what happens is a couple of seconds later, what's going to happen is illumination flares drop down. And I mean, it's it's not that early in the morning still. I mean, it's not pitch black, but point is now I can have that happening and it might be enough to get a lock on the shawl or at least acquire the target just like that. So that is a fairly neat thing that you can do. Either way, that is a useful way to go about it. If you can then have your, you know, you don't have another shark flying with you with illumination rockets, so you don't have a buddy actively manning an A-10 or an SU-25 or something like that and dropping flares for you in the pitch black. Additionally, what you can do is you go into the comms menu, then under F-10, other, I mean, there's a few options like your CTLD options and so on. And I mean, see so if you're the right bird. But for in this case, I'm going to attack Hilo. I can go into JTAC. And then what I can go is I already know on the F10 map, the closest JTAC to me was Bayonet. So I press F2 and select Bayonet. And now I can check in, check out. These other options may not be available, but I've talked to them before. So in this case, I want to check in. So I press F1. And now it gives me his location. Also is MGRS. I've shown you before how you can capture or change this to show MGRS in your Abris. And also, I believe it's in degrees, uh, minutes, decimal minutes. So it should be ready to capture straight into your, um, you know, nav target points or waypoints. And he's also telling me that there's so many targets available. So now what I can do is I can go, you only need to sort of check in once, so to speak. And they are also on road roads shown on the F10 map. Now what I can also do is I can go back into that same menu. The service had contrast nicely. Go back into other, select JTAC again, in this case, Bayonet again. And now he's listing me the targets. So if I press F2 now, he will tell me about the dog ear radar. However, in this case, I believe that the Strela is a more threatening target. So I'm gonna press F6 to learn about that. He's going to tell me all sorts of things about it, the coordinates, the MGRS, etc, etc, which I know if I can capture it. And if I was using laser guided munitions, that would be the code that he's already lasing it for me, which is great. Unfortunately, I don't think it works. I think I've read that back in the day, or perhaps even still, the SU-25 might be able to use those NATO codes of 1113 or 1111. Um, I from what I've read, I don't think that the KH-25 missiles that you can put on the K-50 has ever responded to those codes. Anyway, not the biggest problem, because what I can now do is I can go back into that JTAC menu. So what I've done is got into the menu once, so, you know, F-10 and then JTAC. I've gone into it once, selected Bayonet, which in this case is the JTAC I'm nearest to. I select check-in. I go into that menu a second time. I select which target, if any are available, I select which target I want to know about. And then if I'd wanted to, like in this case, I go into the menu a third time, except now I don't select Bayonet, I just go straight to actions and now I can tell him that I, maybe I want illumination there. I want it lit up. In this case though, I want smoke on the target. So I'll press F5 and he's marking it with the red smoke. And there we go. The convenient thing about this is it's even if you're not in a planned mission with buddies running all the stuff and ground commanders and whatever else, you're dynamically... I think that's someone else trying to drop him. I'm not seeing that typical smoke trail that happens in DCS though. But point is, it's sort of this way you can simulate, you know, the fact that you, you know, normally you'd be setting out in at least a pair of helos or you'd have be... Uh, communications with other ground commanders and troops, you know, lazing and finding things out. I mean, it's fairly accurate here, and it's not gonna be off base by much, at least not at the moment. But point is, you're not in a player-generated mission where everyone's really integrated and got the right comms and doing everything together. 
randomly hop on anytime during the week and you know as long as you're at least near a JTAC you can still do quite a bit even in terrain such as this which is I mean this is nightmare for KF50 you know there are man pads in here it's dense forest yeah I know my harvest not perfect and it's bucking around I should probably just switch that off um, this is nightmare terrain for the KF50 I mean you could hover up high and be scanning forever and still not see the forest for the trees and well now I'm able to actually look for this thing which I believe is still intact so what I'm actually going to do is just make a run of it so I've shown you from the F10 map how you can go in place markers and drop illumination making the night ever so slightly less scary I mean I would still say maybe fly with night vision goggles um, if you uh, or 12 years off, yeah. Fly in with uh, night vision goggles. Um, so you can actually spot the terrain and power lines and that kind of stuff. But then you're able to, if you have a rough idea of where the targets are, you can put illumination markers on that area and have it drop down. Bear in mind, this is still a very dynamic server and things will still roll in. So even if you think that you've seen everything from the JTAC that may be a threat or not, uh, there may be new things that rolled in, and there may be things that the JTAC has not JTAC has not seen yet. So again, you know, there's no perfect security or fluffy environment. You know, still fairly rough. You know, depending on where you are uh, on the map and what's happening at the moment, and where the Red Commanders have pushed all the troops. It can still be quite rough. It's not a guaranteed scenario, but it's an interesting mix-up of the intelligence that you have available and that which is hidden. So, I mean, if I was playing properly now, I'd probably have the helmet sight out and be scanning all these roads. Any little thing where I think I can see something and maybe, you know, try and acquire that whatever you know, might have been a man pad that was spotting me earlier. Anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this and that you can find some new uses for interesting little uh, ways to squeeze out more out of your black shock. Cool. Check you guys soon.